Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 Honda Africa Twin Adventure Sports first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Honda drops big CRF 1100L Africa Twin upgrades for 2024. All versions of the Africa Twin have received updates for 2024 with visual, mechanical, and performance improvements across the range. The legendary Honda Africa Twin is receiving updates ready for 2024, with changes to both the CRF 1100L and the higher spec Adventure Sports Edition. The changes for the coming year focus on styling, practicality, performance, and technology. With two bikes and a number of submodels getting updated on this one, we'll focus first on the updates that affect all the models, then drill down into the finer points of each updated machine. 2024 Honda Africa Twin updates applicable to both versions. Still instantly recognizable as an Africa Twin, the new bikes updates center around the front fairing and while they do alter the aesthetic they are also aimed at improving long distance comfort and helping to incorporate the 5 position. Adjustable screen. The 1084 cubic centimeters engine has also received updates for this year and boasts changes to the intake, combustion, and exhaust to produce more low and mid-range torque and a 7% increase of peak torque meaning 112 newton meters 82.6 foot pounds is now available. Peak power for both the CRF 1100L and the Adventure Sports remains the same as before at 75 kilowatts or 100.5 brake horsepower. Honda has also fettled the DCT system of the bikes and the focus was on matching the DCT shifting schedules to the new torque delivery, but also improving the ride ability and feel of the system. The shifting schedules have been tweaked to facilitate earlier downshifts, and also better detect when the bike is taking a corner to try and prevent those mid-turn changes that some earlier DCT systems could be prone to. Honda has also worked to make the first initial opening of the throttle when the DCT system first engages. Feel more natural like the bike is being operated with a normal manual clutch and transmission. The upshifts from first to second gears have also been adjusted on the DCT models with the aim being providing a more natural clutch feel thanks to improvements to the hydraulic control of the system. Both bikes also know boast the option to fit tubeless tires something that should make mid-trail punctures a little easier to fix. The frame, subframe, and CRF 450 are inspired swing arm of both machines remain the same for 2024. Away, like so 2024 Honda CRF 1100L Africa Twin Updates the lighter, smaller and more off-road focused version of the Honda Africa Twin will now be available with both show a manually adjusted suspension at both ends, and as a first on the smaller of the Africa Twin models it can be specced with Trick show electronically equipped ride adjustment ERA kit for on-the-fly damping adjustments when riding on and off-road. The suspension stroke of the new ERA kid bike remains the same as the manually adjusted machine 230mm front 220mm rear and the system measures the bike's speed from the ECU. Attitude from the IMU and fork behavior via the stroke sensor. In this way, Honda is stating the new ERA kid bike can make tweaks to the suspension in as little as 15 milliseconds from the calculations being made. As suspected in our recent article, the new adventure bike carries forward Honda's 1084cc twin-cylinder engine from the outgoing model, but with some notable changes. The airbox intake ducts increase from 29mm to 35mm, 
while the compression ratio rises from 10.1 to 1 to 10.3 to 1. This is topped by new ECU settings and valve timing, all of which bumps the peak torque to 82 pound-feet from 77.4.